three. Good evening. This is a two year Cornwell checking in for the NRPA Young Professionals Network. And we are very, very excited to kick off a, a special series here the next couple months where we'll be doing some uh, professional blogging as well as vlog, uh, video blogging. And the main purpose is to provide uh, some very uh, useful and hopefully we feel like it'll be beneficial professional development opportunities and information for the, uh, for young professionals within the network. So if you're a young professional, please continue to check in with these ser the series of blogs that we'll have. Uh, we're looking at doing stuff from resume building uh, to talking about the scholarships and fellowships the NRPA provides for Congress, um, as well as leadership programs and so forth. So we're very excited uh, to kick this off. Uh, and if you're not a young professional, please share it with young professionals within your network that might be, you know, within your department and so forth. So we're, we're really excited about this opportunity uh, to hopefully once again uh, build strong young professionals within NRPA. Uh, this evening, we have a very, very special guest uh, that's going to help us kick off uh, this series and uh, this blog series, this vlog series, as we call it. Uh, we have Dr. James Worsley, director of the Columbus, Georgia Park and Recreation Department. And tonight, our topic is going to be um, I've attended my first NRPA Congress. Now what? And what we really want to do is uh, give Dr. Worsley an opportunity to kind of share his experience um, from when his first NRPA Congress and how it's been beneficial for his career thus far. Uh, so how are you doing tonight, Dr. Worsley? What's going on? It's going well. appreciate the opportunity to come out and, and be on the vlog, the very first <laughs> series. Uh, so thank you so much. You want me to get, jump right into my first Congress? Yeah, tell you what, uh, I mean, just give us, uh, the first question really would be, uh, let us know when was your first Congress and uh, when and where? When and where was your first NRPA Congress? I attended my first NRPA Congress in the late 90s. My very first opportunity was in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, that, that was in um, undergrad at the time, and so I had that experience, take my very first plane ride in Nashville, Tennessee, <laughs> and it was at, held at Opryland, at the Opryland Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. Great experience. Cool, cool. Just thinking about uh, that first NRPA Congress you went to, what's, what's something that stands out in your mind from that first Congress? Well, take a little take a little country boy from the cornfields of North Carolina <laughs> and and go into the the big city of Nashville, Tennessee. Well, you know you got all the the hard rock hard rock legends uh, are known, <laughs> but and in an Opryland Hotel, you know that's that's just an experience in itself. So mm -hmm. being able something culturally different um, was right. very beneficial to, uh, for for myself. Uh, but more so at the NRPA Congress itself, being able to meet, you know, in college we met a lot of, we read about a lot of people, but, you know, when you go to the Congress, you actually get to meet those people that you read about in school, uh, you know, like uh, some of the people that you read about in, rec in the recreation arena, meeting those people at Congress is very instrumental, and, and having a mentor uh, there at Congress to show me around, Dr. Charles Cena Stone did that, show me around to meet a lot of these folks, um, and, of course, educational sessions, you can't beat those. Right, right, right. So, I mean, just to kind of maybe expand a little bit on you kind of started going into it, but uh, what would you say in RPA Congress uh, its impact that it's had on your professional development, your career, um, you know, to get you to where you are at this point in your career? Okay. Uh, you know, the, the tax load for therapeutic recreation, you say the benefits are endless and that holds true for NRPA as well. The benefits truly are endless. Going back to my very first Congress all the way up to where I am today, um, you, you have uh, several components, and one component will be mentorship. You know, you had the opportunity. I had the opportunity mentored by a very fine professional who is still in the field, as I mentioned, Dr. Charles Cena Stone. Um, also, attending a session helps you to network and get you have, to have the opportunity to get to meet people you otherwise wouldn't meet. You might read about them, but, you know, putting a name with a face, uh, goes a long way, and then you get to, you pick their brains and you pick up nuggets of, uh, along the way from these professionals that you are meeting. Um, I was also involved um, in the uh, student um, branch of NRPA, which um, I was president elect uh, during my particular tenure there. And being president elect, you have the student body. Uh, we we had the opportunity to go to NRPA. We had the opportunity as student branch officers to attend mid-year forum in Washington, D.C., so we did that for a number of years. And it's all about the networking opportunities. That's, um, you can you can read about this information that we have in Parks and Recreation, but mm -hmm. actually being able to live it 
and and be mentored and network with these folks is, is really how I got to where I am today. Uh, being impactful, you know, you, eventually you begin to start presenting at the sessions. Uh, you get, you build up your courage along the way. A lot of young professionals start out that, hey, I don't know if I want to present at these sessions. It's kind of scary. And it can be overwhelming, especially at a national session. But you build your way up. You start, you start out maybe at a local session at the state level and then you get your courage and you, and you move on, um, and to the granddaddy stage of the NRPA and, and, you know, wherever it might be. This year would be in Houston. Right, right, right. I guess, and uh, I know this year in Anaheim, this past year in Anaheim in 2012, um, I know the Young Professional Network was just so excited of all the uh, young professionals that came to Congress and, and being involved, not just at Congress, but being involved, coming to the uh, a lot of the sessions that the Young Professional Network put on, the meetings and so forth, um, as well as uh, I know you had an opportunity to, to serve as a mentor uh, for a young professional while you were in Anaheim. Uh, so just a little advice. What would you from, you know, there was a lot of energy, a lot of positive energy uh, from the network, young professionals that were at the Congress. Uh, so what would you encourage them as they after they've left Congress? Now they're back at their department. Uh, what would you encourage the next steps for them to just kind of to take that positive energy that was uh, held out in Anaheim, you know, to, to help be a benefit to their career? All right. Well, first of all, let me just say I, I had a ball in Anaheim, California. That was my first time being on the West Coast, and I did. I did participate in um, as a mentor. Um, had a great mentee. His name is Gus. Uh, Gus is uh, a, currently a doc student up in the University of Illinois in Champaign, uh, and we just had a wonderful time together. But as I told Gus in some of our sessions um, that we had during the Congress, and I, and I mentioned to a lot of other professionals that I met because I kind of um, well, had a I had a man a mentor that was given to me, but you know by default you know you you you're one of few young African Americans or minorities um, as a director level um, and, you know in parks and recreation, so you have opportunity to kind of talk to a lot of people um, throughout the, the session. So some of the information I shared with them was you know don't just take this information and sit on it so to speak. Don't just go file it in the drawer when you get back to your office. But take what you've learned and apply it to your everyday life, you know, in terms of parks and recreation. It might be you attended a session in therapy recreation or in park planning. Take it and make, and make it applicable to what you're doing. Um, and then there you will be able to grow in, in your profession. And don't, and you, you might even be sharing it with other people uh, back in your department that could not uh, go to the uh, NRPA session. Uh, so you might, it's sharing knowledge. Um, it might be connecting and rekindling with that mentor that you met um, to pose a question. You know, technology is great nowadays. We actually have a network with with the Minority Network. We have a network with NRPA. Um, and I'm also involved with a network with the with Director School, um, which is part of NRPA, but Director School is, is, out, is out of um, Ogilvy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you're connected. You can send an email out ask a question, and boom, you got answers from all over the country, people right. providing you with advice. So when you, go, when you go to NRPA, build those relationships, make those contacts, and keep in touch with those folks. Um, start your blog like we're doing here or, you know, email once in a quarter and just get feedback um, or share your ideas and thoughts. You know, it could be through a Facebook page or whatever, but you want to stay connected. Right, right, right. Great information, great information. Uh, well, Dr. Worsley, uh, as we can get ready to conclude, uh, I would just let you give an opportunity to kind of summarize. Um, and, you know, I, I, we went to University of North Carolina at Greensboro together, so I, I know personally that you're still a young professional. So uh, just, you know, in conclusion, what would you just encourage, you know, young professionals in the field, you know, um, you're a great example of, of using and, and, and being a part of the, the benefits of, you know, going to NRPA Congress and utilizing, you know, your professional development, your personal professional development and, and connecting it with some of the resources through NRPA. What would this be, um, you know, one of your lasting impressions that you would like to leave to young professionals in the network? And once again, especially those who were able to attend Congress and maybe something to encourage those who haven't been to Congress yet to come out there. Right. Well, first and foremost, I would go on and say that, you know, people got to realize young professionals have so many great talents that go unseen. Uh, they keep it locked up in this in this what I call a talent toolbox. And nobody know they have this talent, this skill. 
uh, because they keep it to themselves. So I would just encourage our young professionals that uh, are, are like us, you know, like you said, you and I both went to UNCG, so we are young professionals. This might be my last year I can qualify as a young professional, though, according <laughs> to our NRPA and, and get that discount. Right. <laughs> I had a birthday this year. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, let people know that you, what your talent is so you, it can be utilized. Maybe your talent is in I don't know, research. Uh, maybe your talent is in, is in oratorical. You, you're like, you're a good speaker and you're very articulate. Or you, you like to plan events and so forth. There's a way that you can connect anywhere in NRPA or with your state organization. Get involved is the first, is the first step. Many people I talk to say, well, hey, I'm not ready to get involved at the national level. And I say, well, that's fine. Get involved locally. You know, there, you know, there, there, you have a state organization, wherever state you might be from. Get involved in that level or get involved in a committee level. Uh, we, you know, there's something you can do to share your talent. You know, find out if you don't know what your talent is, ask somebody. Somebody knows what you're good at if you don't know what you're good at. But most importantly, um, don't depend on your organization or someone else to pay for your professional development. You know, I, when I give my, when I give my sessions, I speak a lot about social uh, capital and human capital. You know, that human capital aspect is very important. You gotta mm -hmm. invest in your own bank account. Nobody's mm -hmm. gonna write a check and send it to the bank for you. You gotta be willing to go and write that check and send it and deposit for a rainy day fund for yourself. So mm -hmm. that, so that means attending conferences locally, getting some training in, um, you know, going into that social capital piece, uh, making sure you are connected, getting, get, going to, going, getting your mentor if necessary, finding some way to connect so you can make sure that you are building the capital that you need to be the professional that you want to be. And whether that's a director, assistant director, deputy director, whatever goal you set for yourself, go and obtain it. And we're here to help you. All right, right, right. Great, great, great information. We would definitely, definitely appreciate you taking some time out this evening to be the set off, you know, the series of the blogs and the vlogs that the Young Professional Network and RPA will be providing over the next couple months. So we definitely appreciate your time uh, and your knowledge and your information. Um, and then also definitely let us know uh, if anybody wants to contact you, uh, good contact information and email address. Uh, they might want to follow up on some of the information they heard this evening. Absolutely. Feel free to contact me anytime. You can reach me on by email. You can email me at jworsley, that's J-W-O-R-S-L-E-Y, at columbusga.org. Or you can call my office at 706-225-4658, and we'll be too glad to help you. You can also connect with us on Facebook. We're on Facebook at Park, Parks and Recreation at Columbus uh, GA as well. So, you know, just type in um, Columbus, Georgia. You'll find us on Facebook and, and, and become our friend. Sound good. Sound good. Well, this is a two-year Cornwell about to check out uh, from the Young Professional Network in RPA. First ever vlog that we kicked in here in 2013. Special thanks to Dr. James Worsley. And uh, let us know. Let us know how y'all feel about this vlog thing. I think it's pretty cool. We want to find out what y'all like, like to say. Dr. Worsley likes it perfect. too. So we'll check in with y'all soon. Stay connected with us. Have a good evening.